Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Today we're going to fix, we'll call it a Christmas smoothie. And I think this is a type smoothie that uh, young kids would really like, I think. So we're going to start out and uh, make part of it with just strawberries. I'm going to have to use some sugar because the strawberries are really sour. So let me move y'all over and see if y'all can see there. All right, so this is probably three cups of uh, strawberries. So I'm going to put those in the uh, Vitamix and I'm going to put a little scoop of sugar for sure. It's probably about a third of a cup of sugar. And I'm going to use just half of a banana just to make it creamy. And this is going to be one layer of the smoothie. All right, so we're going to put in some water. I'm not going to put that much, maybe a cup. Yeah, about a cup. All right, so we're going to grind these up. I'm going to leave the uh, camera on while I'm doing it. So hold on, here we go. pretty good, but they'll be thawed out while I'm fixing the rest of this. So I'm going to pour this into another cup. And I'm not even... Mm, that's good. Sweet enough. Alright, so I'm just going to leave this in there for the next batch that I'm making. So I'm just going to set this aside. Now it'll be thawing out uh, while I'm fixing the rest of it. So now this is just like a normal smoothie. This is two big handfuls of baby spinach. So I'm going to put that in. And I have already washed this. Even though it, they say it's triple washed, I just wash it again just to be sure. Alright, so two handfuls of spinach. Now I'm using spinach because of the vibrant green color you get. And I'm going to put in the big blob of oatmeal. I've got it cut in little sections. It's already thawed out. And two carrots. These are sort of small carrots. And to sweeten this up, I'm actually this time using six of the medjool dates. That goes in. Put the rest of the And I'm using two juice oranges. And now I cut those oranges so I can get the seeds out. So this is two juice oranges. And they go right in. Now I'm going to also use some peanut butter. I mean we're making this for children so I want them to have the benefit of the protein in the peanut butter. So that's a big blob of peanut butter going right in. And then right on top of that, I'm going to put that other half of banana, and then one more banana. And these were previously frozen. All right, so now we're ready to start mixing this up. So I'm going to put in, this is an, another cup of water, and I probably actually need just a little bit more. Let's put in a little bit more. So that's more like two cups of water. Alright, we're ready to uh, go ahead and grind this up now. Alright, it's going to be loud, so hold on. Plus I had to run. 
rinse my hands off. All right, so this is two golden delicious apples. Dump those in. All right, now we've got everything in here. So grind it up some more. It is. It's very sweet. All right. Get another spoon. I see one little leaf in there. All right, we're going to grind it just a little bit more. And then we're going to be ready to start making this smoothie or putting it together. All right, here we go. put it in these two smaller glasses. And here's the red from the strawberries and that's thawed out a little bit now. All right, so we're gonna pour some in the glasses. Get my dish rag right here ready. All right, so we're going to fill them about one-third full. That ought to be good. And then we're going to put in the red. And hope it doesn't sink to the bottom. Three big spoonfuls. Now we're going to put in more green. Just a little bit more. Now we're going to put in, y'all couldn't see. Let me move it down. Move y'all closer. There. All right. A little more red. Can you all see it? Now I'm going to take a spoon and kind of go down. Can you all see that? You can't see it real good there. I'm going to take a spoon, go down, pull it up a little bit. Go down and pull it up a little bit. Down and pull it up. And I'm scraping the side of the... Uh, glass when I do that. Down and pull it up. All right. All right, so now we've got a topping, so hold on. All right, so now we're going to put some whipped cream in the top of these. And this is some homemade whipped cream, too, by the way. Just like that. Right in the top. And then I'm going to cut a little uh, mango, frozen mango, to sort of represent a star. Put that right in the top. Not a very good star, but sort of. Okay. 
And there it is. You can see the red in there. I don't know if it shows up or not, but hold it up like that. Can you all see the red in there? Yeah. Very good. And there it is with whipped cream on top and a little mango to sort of represent a star. All right, y'all, I'm going to do some more experimenting, experimenting with uh, smoothies like this. Uh, in fact, I've got enough to do another one in a big glass. So let me, let me kind of get that together. So we'll be back. All right, so now we're going to do uh, some in a bigger glass. And this time I'm going to put the uh, red in first. In fact, I'm just going to pour it in. top of the red this time. A little more in this one. I think these are really pretty looking. And we'll just do the same thing again with the whipped cream. Put a lot more whipped cream this time. And of course, you could use the uh, whipped cream that you get in the uh, refrigerator section at the grocery store and make it even more festive and squirt it up. Now, these are the remnants where I was trying to cut out a little star. So I'll just put those right on top. Get them out like that. Yeah. All right, so there's the one that looks more red. It's red and green. I'm not sure if that's showing up or not. But anyway, there it is. I'm going to taste this one for y'all. Yeah. So Mr. Bucky's going to get one too, so we're going to taste of it. like strawberries and cream even this one that's got more green in it nope. and this one is super pretty I think anyway so that's my take on a uh, Christmas smoothie y'all just using the strawberries and uh, definitely using the uh, uh, spinach because it makes a, a more intense green plus the uh, kale it takes a lot so that you don't taste the kale. It really does. But anyway, all right. So we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.